testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> welcome to another episode three of Boxing Podcast. Um, we're going to get into the uh, Michael Eifert destroying Don Pascal. Was not supposed to win. This was supposed to be a layup for the now 40 year old Pascal, um, which obviously didn't happen. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing, uh, social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Also, uh, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, so let's get into um, the Pascal fight, right? This was on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, first off, the undercard absolutely brutal. Um, nothing of interest on that at all. Um, you know, I, I get it's Canadian boxing, but Canada has a pretty good boxing scene. Um, Jessica Kamara got knocked out. Um, the comment event was uh, just brutal. It was, uh, we're not even gonna talk about that. Um, I, I didn't see the Joseph Ward fight, but I mean, this was uh, this, 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 this was tough to take. Um, but um, we got to the main event, the main event was um. <clears throat> It was a good performance from Michael Eifert. I had it 118, 110 rounds, two, so one of the judge. The other judge had 93. Okay, I can see that. And the third judge had a ridiculous 115, 113. But this was uh, this is IBF eliminator. So the, the winner is not going to be slated uh, to fight better BF. Um, and that's not good news for, for um, Eifert. He's not going to win that fight. But let's get into why they had it. It was supposed to be an all-Canadian showdown. Right, like you could do this in Montreal. It's gonna be a huge event. You're gonna get Pascal and uh, you know an aging Pascal. Everyone, loves you hear that the crowd going nuts every time Pascal landed anything, which wasn't often. Um, you know that was supposed to get that was what the IBA. That's what Motors wanted. Pascal is as well with Lou Debella. What everyone wanted. And uh, Michael Eifert was supposed to, you know, be an official lamb. That didn't happen. And he pulled Pascal. I, I live Pascal ever. I, I know he was an athlete with power and on paper. He should be good. But, like, I've been multiple times. I'm not knocking a guy. I'm not. He's not that good. He, nothing he throws is straight. He doesn't use a jab. Everything is wide, right? I just I I never liked this guy. He was a more athletic uh, Arthur Abraham, right? It was I never thought of anything in Abraham either. Um, this guy I, I've always said could be outboxed. He could be had. And that's exactly what I did. John Pascal is forty. I, I know he had a doping incident and he's been out of the ring for a bit. Uh, he looked every bit years old in that ring tonight. I controlled them. Which is simple. It was one twos. Pascal looked slow. He looked, he really couldn't land. He never. You know, he had a couple of moments where he put those hooks and wide shots together. Um, but and I basically controlled the fight with just a jab and a right hand. You know, it was jab right hand, slide out of the way, jab step over, and it was just, it was that all night. It was one shot after another. Uh, he put some you know five six patients together in spots. Um, you know, he doesn't seem to be a big hitter, uh, but Michael Ivory around, you know, and it was, it was, it was a high level, you know, basic high level, right? The high level basic, right? It, it was simple. It was clean. It was crisp. It was a boxing lesson. Um, and like I said, Pascal's never been a, he's always been over. He's a good athlete. He's got a good natural ability. He's just never been able to put it, never, he's never worked. Jab, he's never had a jab. Uh, and that was, you know, a jab can take you around the world. It's going to take Michael Eifert to a world title shot. And not a guy with the most ability in the world, um, but good fundamentals, good technique, good footwork. He's got good feet. 12 and 1, he's five years old, so he can still get better, right? He still gets some time to improve. 
Um, you know, he lost in 2020 to um, – and then he, um, he, he lost the close decision to him, and then he came back a year later, 11 months later, and beat him again. He's a German – anyone here has heard of him before. Again, like, he's not a world beater. He's not going to win a world title, but he's going to be around. You know, he can be a fringe contender. He, he can make some money in the sport. He can do well. Like I said, his fundamentals are real good. Uh, he, he's not Irish, even though he's, he's got a name that sounded Irish to me. I don't know. He's wearing green and yellow shorts. I thought he was Irish. Apparently, he's German. Uh, he's fought almost in Germany um, until now. He fought. He's also got one of the fight. I don't, I don't recognize that flag. Um, but that's probably so. See, I. We're probably not going to see Pascal again. Um, I would hope not. That was a very bad performance from Pascal. Um, we know Pascal had, had the doping incident, so we don't know what he was on, what he was doing. Um, you know, he, he, he fought, it was uh, less than a year ago, he fought the uh, Fan Lang Meng, and he looked, uh, I think he looked decent in that fight. He dropped him in round nine. Uh, before that, it was off before that, two and a half years off. It was before the pandemic. Badu Jack, uh, I think that was the Tank Davis, Tank Davis, and, and Gamboa, perhaps. Um, and, and that was like, okay, he's back. He's a good fighter. Uh, then it was, you know, two and a half years off of the pandemic. Back in 2022, got the win over Family Mang. Um, and now we've Eifert, and again, Eifert's not a bad fighter. He's not a great fighter. And Eifert schooled him. Eifert and, and, and um, Pascal looked shot. He looked old. He looked done. He looks like a finished fighter. Um, so we're going to see now Eifert. I think he's going to be around the division for a while. He's 25. Um, not much pop, you know, not a ton of athleticism, but a good set who can, you know, capitalize do wrong. And you're going to have to be sharp to beat him. Um, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys watch the fight? Did anyone watch this other than me? I did not see any reaction from the Twitter sphere. I, I did not see boxing Twitter reacting to this fight at all. Um, I was into the fight. Um, good fight. Uh, I, again, you know, I want to see what Pascal left. If Eifert wins, which he did, you know, we're going to see him again. And we're, we're going to see him again. I, I don't know if this fight happens, but, you know, he's going to be slated for that fight. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day. Uh, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please follow uh, our other channels as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day, um, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you. Thank you, God. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.